If you want to connect two Airtable bases together, there's basically two ways you can do it. The first is using Airtable's native sync feature, which is the more limited but simple way to start. So to show you how to do that, I've set up a little example here where on the left, I have an Airtable base with a handful of my client's tasks for client one, client two, and client three. And on the right, I have an Airtable base just for client one. And in this example, I'm going to show what it'd be like to sync from Airtable base one into Airtable base two. To do that, you will click add or import and choose from an Airtable base. Now this will only be available to you if you're on an Airtable team plan. If you're on an Airtable free plan, it just won't work. But let's do it here and go ahead and just select my base. This one is called all clients. I'm going to grab it from client one and pick this view, which is just a grid view so that it grabs everything. Now this will pop up and say, Hey, this view doesn't allow syncing to fix that. All we're going to have to do is come over to our original Airtable base, click this little share button and allow this to be synced to another base. And once that's checked on, we can go ahead and refresh. And this time around, when we go through this whole process, this will actually work, which is great. Now that I'm enabling syncing on my original base and I've set up this sync on the other base, I can simply click next. It'll ask me a few settings, like when I want this to sync and what I should use as a primary field, but this all looks good. And I can go ahead and create that table there. As soon as that's created, Airtable will start to sync the data and you'll see these little lightning bolts, which just indicate that this is a synced field. Now, because I'm on a team plan and not on Airtable's more expensive business plan, these sync updates can only go in one direction. So if I make a change over here, it will sync over to this other one, right? But if I make a change on the client side, it won't let me, right? This is all locked. These fields are restricted. In fact, you need to upgrade to enterprise to edit those sync tables. So that's how you use Airtable's native sync feature. Again, it's really easy, which is awesome, but it is limiting unless you're on that enterprise plan because you can only connect the data one way. Now let's talk about the second way you can connect to Airtable bases. If you want a bit more power than what Airtable gives out of the box, you can reach for a tool like Whale Sync. So Whale Sync lets you set up a two-way sync between Airtable bases and basically just go ahead and activate it. And without being on a business or enterprise plan, you can connect these two tools and let them just literally two-way sync. And so here I've set this up and now you can see that two-way sync came across. And now when I make updates here, like easy peasy, this was lemon squeezy, something like that. What will happen is this change in my second Airtable base will sync across from this one back to the other. And you can see that happening here. If we open this up, our sync is running. This is all synced up two way. We're looking good. And there it is easy peasy. This was lemon squeezy, right? And we can just fix that and go back the other way as well. Because it is a true two way sync, you can just make updates on whatever side you want. And you can actually use this where you can have a master database. Your client can have this child database and they can work together in tandem. What's really nice about the whale sync setup as well is because it is a dedicated tool for syncing, you not only get the sync, but you also get things like issues. So if for whatever reason, a record can't sync, you can debug it really easily here. You get a list of operations. So you can see exactly what whale sync has done. So you can track back changes and maybe most importantly, you can set up filters to decide what is included in the sync or not. So if you don't want every single record here to be syncing across from Airtable to Airtable, you can say only sync the tasks that are done or to do, right? Whatever it is that you want. So that's a quick overview of how to connect to Airtable bases, either the native Airtable way, which is a little bit more limiting, or the whale sync way, which opens up true two-way sync, as well as things like issues, operations, and filters.